All right, time to start a brand new career mode. Who do I go with? Broncos, Raiders, Bulldogs? I could go with anyone, really. Maybe not Rabbitohs or Roosters or someone. The Knights? Could use the Knights. Could you? Drop me controller, whoops. Oh my God. I've got to use the Newcastle Thunder. Wow. That was really lame. It's been a few years, but I'm here to finish what I started in Rugby League Live 3. I'm going to be taking the Newcastle Thunder to the Super League. This is the Newcastle Thunder Road to Glory. Seeing as I never really actually used the boost, I think the smartest thing to do would be to uh, use this Juice of Blades one. I actually forgot they do squad numbers, so we may as well go through the squad and their numbers. So we've got Taroya at zero, Young one, Craig two. You can see, you can see on the screen, Olfords. Joseph Brown, I think, I'm pretty sure he was at the club when I played um, on Rebel League Live 3. Hardcastle was definitely there. Simons was definitely there. Uh, Reese Clark, definitely there. Um, who else? Barron was there. I don't know if Ryan Clark was there. I know there was a Clark, but I think it was Reese Clark. I don't think Ryan Clark was there as well. Sam Luckley, definitely there. I think his Blair chap was there as well. I can't say for sure, but I'm pretty sure he's there. But luckily, definitely remember him um, big time. And Barron, uh, a lot of guys who polled very well. Speaking of polls, we're going to be doing the James Hart medal once again. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to accept these squad numbers. Actually, what I didn't do is check overalls. Okay, that's helpful. Our uh, best player is a winger. Although, uh, to be fair, wingers are pretty good in this game. But Peter Fox, whoever he is, 64 rated. Okay, Reese Clark at 53. Hardcastle as well. I think I used to play him at 5'8". I know he's a fullback, but I think I used to play him at 5'8". Um, Joseph Brown, 51. Barron at 50. Simons at 49. I'm pretty sure Simons was our backup hooker from memory. That is absolutely disgusting. Sam Luckley, 42. That's ridiculous. Okay, so the team you're seeing right now is actually the default team. Uh, the only change actually I've made is I've put Luckley onto the bench. I think into the spot was uh, this Waller guy, but I decided to stay well to Sam Luckley. However, we do have the option to use uh, players from a feeder team. I don't know what our feeder team is, but initially when I went into this uh, lineup, there were a lot more players. There were a few players that actually recognize as well. So let's take a look at those guys. So the first player I'm going to show you is Andrew Heffernan. He is Australian. I'm pretty sure I know the name Heffernan. I think he might play for the Broncos or Raiders. I can't remember which one. Um, he definitely played in the 20s. Like the name is familiar. Um, but he is a fullback. He is decent. He is better than an actual fullback. Um, but it's just whether we want to use these speed club players. Another one is Zach Docker Clay. I'm pretty sure he used to play for Penrith um, in the lower grades. Um, was pretty decent at the time, I think. He's New Zealander. Um, he's quite young. But once again, I don't know if I want to play these guys. Obviously, we'll get instant results with them, you would think. But we can sit there. We can go back and we can develop our own players as well. So, I don't know. I'm thinking I'd rather develop our own players. However, I suppose we'll, we'll have to wait and see how these guys go. Because I've never really used any, you know, 40-odd rated players on this game. Uh, and I can't even win normally, let alone with lower um, rated players. So... It could be interesting. Let me know in the comment section below, should I use the feeder club players? Also, looking at this team, I think the best thing to do, just based off stats, you have to compare the stats here. We've got Peter Fox, who's our highest rated player. He's 64 rated. He's actually a winger. Um, put him up against our fullback, though. He does look like a much better player. And I feel like this guy might be better off on the wing. I don't know. I feel like Peter Fox could do the job at fullback. Same way as I used Jason Tarley. He was a center, and I put him at fullback because he was our best player, and he was quite damaging. I think Peter Fox might do some damage against these uh, these lower-rated teams. For the time being, though, I think I'm going to give it a miss on using the feeder club players. But yeah, definitely let me know in the comment section below what do you think of using the feeder club players. Should I or shouldn't I? So going into the preseason, I think this will be our team. We have Peter Fox at fullback on the wings. We have Olfert and Craig in the centres. So we have Patterson and Brown. The halves are Nicholas and Hardcastle. Props are Albus and Rennie. With uh, Teroy, the his pronunciations, I'm probably butchering these, but he's our hooker. We have Aldous and Clark in the second row, and Kilday at lock. We then have Baron Stoker, Clark, and luckily that's Ryan Clark, he's a halfback. I'll probably bring him on as a hooker. Um, we could use, uh, where, where is he, Simons as the backup hooker, but I figured he's higher rated, so he probably would be the better player, you would think, anyways. All right, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to accept this lineup. That is our lineup for the first game of the season, or say the first game of the preseason. Speaking of the preseason, I'm going to be playing all the preseason games in the next episode. Probably going to do them off camera just so I can uh, get a little bit of warm up considering I haven't played this game in a long, long time. So, I'm going to be a bit rusty. So, 
probably better uh, I don't do this on camera. But guys, I'm very excited to be bringing this series to you. Hopefully you're excited as well. It's been a long time coming, but the new Castle Thunder career mode is back. If you're excited for this series and excited for me to be back on Rainbow League Live 4, make sure you go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well. It's Mr. Luke and YT. It's on the screen right now. And stay tuned for the rest of the series. I think it's going to be a very, very good one, at least. That's the plan anyways. Right here, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you for episode two. Bye.